the business dictionary or business glossary. There is a difference. Hmm. In this video, I'm going to quickly explain the difference between the business dictionary and, you guessed it, the business glossary. If you remember from the what is a business glossary video, a business glossary is a collection of business terms with their unique definitions and other useful related information. So again, three keywords here, business, unique, and information. So we're talking about business terms, business language, business verbiage. We're talking about having this commonplace, this trusted source of information where anyone can go to and understand the business terminologies and, you know, even other relevant information. How is a business dictionary different from a business glossary? Well, let's do that by pulling the Merriam-Webster dictionary, though obviously any other dictionary would work. And as you can see, I've already typed in report and taken a screenshot of it. What's the main thing that becomes apparent when we're looking at this? What's the main thing that really stands out when we're browsing through a dictionary? It's the fact that the term report, in this case, has multiple entries for its definition. Whereas with a glossary, a business glossary, there's one term, one unique term, and it's one unique definition. So remember from the definition of the business glossary, there were three keywords, business, information, and unique. So the main takeaway is that a business dictionary can have multiple definitions for the same term, but a business glossary has one unique definition for one term. So let me, let me rephrase that again, because both of these artifacts really have the same purpose. What differs is some of the rules that govern them. So for a business glossary, a term is unique. We have, you know, a definition for report and we can't add a new term that's also called report. That's called the same thing. If we wanted to add another entry for a report, well, we either modify the existing one or we need to create a new term for it, such as, you know, news report versus a dashboard report. Whereas for a business dictionary, we can have the same term added multiple times. So when we are searching for the term report in the business dictionary, we can actually just get two entries as search results. One with a definition for a news report and the other with a definition for a dashboard report. Similarly, a business glossary has only one definition for each term. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship. A business dictionary could have the same term point to multiple definitions. So there's a one-to-many relationship. I'm not really a fan of implementing a business dictionary because for the most part, I think that it can be confusing. So if we're looking for the term report and its definition, as an end user, I think you always need to figure out the context and understand which definition for that term, report, you should refer to. On the other hand, it can be a challenge to have unique terms, so some organizations kind of try and marry the two concepts. How so? Well, at the data domain level or subdomain level, the same term can only be found once. But when one looks at all data domains at the enterprise level, you can find multiple entries for the same term. Again, I still prefer the business glossary route as it reduces the risks or wrong assumptions and misunderstandings. But I also recognize that certain organizations have different needs and priorities that can be addressed quicker through a business dictionary. So now you know, this is what a difference is between a business dictionary and a business glossary. Please click the like button if you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe as I'm adding a new video each week. Thank you.